Ah yeah. Um, we've we've just done the one it. Um, it recorded us talking, but not the game audio. We're new to mobile gaming. Anything to add? Yeah. So we we it didn't record the game audio. So Foy and I wrote some nice chip tune to uh, to go over the top of it. Yay. A couple of old one of many songs redone in chip tune style. Uh, and Foy did one as well. So enjoy. Enjoy. Mad as a broom. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Um right. The US election we tried to warn you didn't fucking listen. Tomorrow is the general election in Great Britain. Essentially two horse race, because it always is. Labour versus Conservatives. We say, fuck you, Tory bastard, conservative cunts. Exactly. And uh, yay Corbyn, as is seen on the tee, which I had another one for you to wear, and we didn't do that. Oh well, doesn't matter. You can go and get it. You can go get my tobacco. The t-shirt is hanging on the half door. A hung t-shirt? Yes. Just like the hung parliament that we're about to have. No, oh, yeah. don't, don't. We're going we're gonna to win outright. In the meantime, uh, what we what we're going to play today is you might have guessed because we played. Um, Back in a minute. Yep. Let's yes. Um, we played a game all about Donald Trump last time. We did election gaming. We hope to bring you a new song today as well. Uh, that didn't happen. It's, it's it's been terrible. Who knows? If if it goes our way, we'll we'll do the song. We'll do the song because we'll have more time. At least four fucking years of it. Ah. Fingers crossed. Hey, Foy. Yes. He's, he's loving the politics. Mm. Honest. Mm. This is Jack Daniel Cider. Anyway, today we are going to be playing for a one-hit wonder, Corbin Rum, which is a mobile phone game. So that's going to be fun. Um, Krusty sent me a message about siphon filter. That's good. Fish. Don't worry about it. So, right. What is it? Google Games or some shit to make it work. Google Games? Games. Google Games. Games Google. Because I don't want to go straight into the game. Play games! Whoa, Jeremy Corbyn. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Where's your Corbyn t shirt? Yeah, no you, one bought me one. You fucking Tory cunt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, if I do this. Um, I'd just like to point out something while Jay's being silent for 10 seconds. Uh, in my constituency, where I live, it's actually always Tories or Lib Dem. So unfortunately, on Thursday, I have to strategically vote Lib Dem because Labour doesn't have a shout in my constituency. It's always like that between Tories and Lib Dem and Labour are always down there. If I vote for Labour in my constituency, it's a wasted vote. I have to vote Lib Dem to keep the Tories off that seat. So even though the seat, if the seat wins as Lib Dem, Labour don't win it, but the Tories lose it. And that's what matters. That, yeah, strategic voting. Uh, also, <coughs> remember to take your pens with you tomorrow. Uh, it's important. You know, in case they rub it out. <gasps> yeah, they'll, they'll try anything, these Tory cunts. Anyway, Corbyn run then. Yes. Corbyn run. Yes. Yes. Corbyn Rum. Yes. Yes. Right. Corbyn Rum. Very simple. What we're doing here is we're tapping to make Corbyn As you sink. Collect, collect the money. Oh yeah, sinking. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Another Britain is possible, but Theresa Mayhem's Conservatives are holding us back. We're in a race against time to defeat a rigged system together. We can win. <laughs> Look, there goes the bus of lies. <laughs> Don't worry everybody, we're all going to have a go. It's not a particularly long game. <coughs> right, Jez. Right, avoid potholes, because they're bad. As a... Uh, see, look, they're bad. And any of the shit they drop. But we got to just crash into these cunts to get all the money off them. things on the floor. That's uh, bottles of champagne they're dropping. <laughs> Rich fuckers. Oh, I, 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 
that I need to be so we can be seen in this fucking screen. See, the, the, the potholes not ideal because they're all running through the fucking things. But thankfully Jezza here has got loads of energy. I think it's basically <coughs> impossible to lose the game. It's just about how much you... Oh shit, launch pledge, I've not done that. <laughs> £10 minimum wage launch and now I've got these bicycle guys. <laughs> Theresa May, they're lobbing champagne into the deck. What a bitch. Ow, Theresa, stop it. You slag. Who recently said we've not done enough to uh, stop terrorism in this country when previously her job was literally to stop terrorism in this country. Good effort there, love. While simultaneously cutting... Launch pledge! Save our NHS. While, while simultaneously cutting 20,000 police jobs. Yeah, that was... Uh, Which was her. Look, there's, it's Boris. He's <clears throat> chucking flags at me. You just explain to the uh, overseas viewers that Boris Johnson is... Uh, a buffoon. He's, he's the, he is the previously proven racist person who got appointed foreign minister <laughs> under Theresa May. Yeah. Uh, Google Boris Johnson. I guarantee that one of the first things you'll see on Google Images is him suspended from a rope, holding Union Jacks in his hands. Can you get stuck or something? Abolish tuition fees! Hooray! Teachers with me now. Here's a. I, th I don't know who that's supposed to be, but he's clearly in a Virgin jet. So we we'll assume it's Branson, but it doesn't look like Branson. Who's trying to buy the NHS? Yeah, exactly. Stop it, Virgin man. Do you know that Virgin are actually currently suing the NHS? I have heard this. What the fuck is that about? Because... How do they do that anyway? It's a government because, body, isn't well, it? Sure. Shut up, I'll tell you. Sorry, go on. Um, yeah, the government sell it. Pledge. The government have sold a lot of it. Oh, right, yeah. You know you see all these primary care trusts? Yeah. They're all privately owned. That's NHS, that has been sold. Oh, fuck me, Maggie Thatcher's ghosts here. I've not seen that before. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so Virgin are currently trying to sue the NHS because they didn't get as much money for buying bits of it as they were promised. So now they're suing it for more than was promised. Not reported at all. Obviously, why would it be? It's only the truth. <laughs> pledge, pledge, I'm doing this in a <clears throat> Ban zero contracts, pledging. Right, here's the bus of lies. Oh, I missed... See, Buster Lies is making me miss all these fucking rich cunts here. Buster Rhymes? No, not Buster Rhymes. Bus of Lies. Oh. Is that when Buster Rhymes doesn't not our tell the truth? Buns. Yeah. Right, I think I've done it. You think you did it? Yeah, I've been with the wife. Tory education cut. <laughs> right there. there. The Bus of Lies has been defeated. And I have, uh, you won, tax dodging invested, 6,605. With this, we can rebuild and transform Britain. For the many, not the few. Vote Labour on June 8th. That's tomorrow, everybody. Sort your shit out. Right, who wants the next go? Boy. This is very heavy with all this fucking cable. Look at this shit. Look at this. Might be helpful to rest it on a friend. Right, 6605 to beat. Remember that? Oh. Yeah, there's a phone, mate. I'm sure you can handle this trickery. I can see it much better now. You'll see it even better when it's your turn. Don't forget to launch pledges when it starts flashing in the corner like I carry on doing. Look, here's those 32 bars I was talking about that I wrote on a receipt. This is all Relevant. about the song I was talking about before. <clears throat> all of this is bars about fuck the Tories, yay Corbyn and the Labour Party. Which is funny considering the last political song we did was Legendary Mercenary where we were slagging off the Labour Party. But that's mainly because they really fucked up at that point way back when. Jezza got him way back on track. Good guy, our Jez. I bet his favourite film is Kez. He loves you, even if you're straight or bi or les. He's Jez. Yeah. I think that's some parts of an Alex Blood spoken word piece. He's done another one. I shared it recently on my Facebook. Did you? Today, I, I think. I missed that. that. And he's basically talking about vote Jez. And do. Run into these cunts, boy. Kill them I'm all. Running into all. We'll not kill them. Keep dropping not, shit. Not a violent game. These are the five percent who have got all the money. Our Jez wants to put uh, tax up for the top five percent of earners, uh, whereas the Tories 
want the opposite, basically. Freeze or indeed lower the tax of the highest earners and just keep hiking up for the rest of us poor bastards. <clears throat> Hence the political theme of for the many, not the few, for our boy Jezza. Tunes though, right? Yep, that means refuel it. Fuel's on the stairs, mate. Is it? Oh, shit. It's not breaking it at the minute, let's risk it. How are you doing there, Foy? Get it on, I've just abolished tuition fees. Oh, Good man. what a lad. We all want. Yep. What a lad, what a lad. See, this is what Jazz wants to do as well. Abolish the uh, tuition fees. And also, he wants to wipe the slate clean for anyone still paying student debt as well. Which is tidy. I don't remember seeing Thatcher's ghost the first time I played this, but <clears throat> maybe I wasn't paying attention. Zero hour contract, go on. More problems there. I saw um, there was a young dude on Question Time or something. He said, I need my zero hour contract to uh, to like survive. But he was wearing like a 350 pound lacrosse t-shirt or something. Something like Ben that. Sherman maybe. And there were pictures of him in tuxedos all over the shop. So what was your number? Uh, 6605. So basically it was a Tory hiding. Six two six. Oh. Six oh six. I did miss a couple of rich bastards though, so that must be. When the bus shows up it's hard to see him, I find. What is heavy? Mm. Crusty on the Corbin now. Yes, have some of this, you Tory cunt. Yeah. Not about the Tories. Menu. Up in this. You may have gathered. So avoid potholes, hit everything Tories else. Off. Avoid the champagne, pick the champagne up. Avoid the champagne. No. We need broken champagne bottles where we're going. Okay, we can win. Which go. hopefully is going to be. Uh, uh, a, a new world. A new world. How perfect. We could, I mean, technically, if it goes the right way tomorrow, we could change the world. It won't just affect us, because the plan is to stop selling arms to... Saudi cunts. Arabia. Yeah. Who fund ISIS. Yeah, so in doing that, we will also change the fucking world. Who immediately hit some champagne. Sort this shit out, we'll have guys. to run into the tops. Yes. Three pledges. Yay. Ten pound minimum wage. For this. God, I'm taking off some battery. Tell you what, that ten pound minimum wage is going to be bitching. Obviously, it'll be a high tax for it, but pay more tax, man. Oh, Deal with that. Because that would mean like. Uh, I'd assume they'd roll that out around April though. They wouldn't uh, do it straight away, would they? They'd do it at the start of the tax year. Oh, right? yeah, budget. So, I mean, that would mean a significant jump. I think minimum wage at the minute is 750 So that would. That's Depending on that's, how old you are. Well, yeah, over over 21, or is it 25? I don't know. I'm making uh, 750 at one of my minimum it's wage jobs. And under 18. One, and then there's a 21 to 25, and then 25 and over. Right, so... We'll go with the assumption that when he says minimum wage, he means the over 25. Yeah. Which is still reasonable, because they're going to have to, like, follow suit and make it somewhat significantly higher for everyone else as well. One would have thought they're not going to fucking leave it down like six quid or something, are they? One would so, I'll see dramatic improvements, hopefully. 
we just need to hope that people that have property aren't going to hike the rent to compensate for that, because that would be shit. Lower the price of petrol as well, eh, Jez? Get that one in your mouth. Petrol so. prices! Perfect. Legendary mercenary I'll take from Kev. <laughs> I was telling our lovely viewers earlier that we could probably still afford to do the Pro Corbin song if everything goes well tomorrow. Because we'll have like four years to do it. So Unless focused. he says he won't call an election and then cause an election. Could be less than four years, but he'll, he'll do that. Our Jez is straight talking. <coughs> Fantastic turnout he had around here locally. He was down West Kirby. The posh ends of uh, the Wirral. Fantastic turnout. I couldn't go. Was working. Tragic. I would have happily gone. Rep to Corbin. Shit. Fucking shit. boss fight. What? There's no boss fight. Is there? The, the first oh, one was to get fucking one. Army. How did you do? Six four two five. Right. So I either did right the best the or the worst. You did the best. Was it six six zero five? I got. That's what you keep saying. Well, I can't remember if it's 6605 or 6065. Sounds like a strong and stable number. <laughs> <laughs> Figures are all important. Right, so that was Corbin Run. Uh, do the right thing tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. Vote our man Corbin. Unless you've got a strategically vote. Check Reser it out. Research, research your constituency and see who are the two leading parties. I mean, technically, I could afford to not vote tomorrow because... Labour is a shoe in round here. But don't let that don't be an excuse. It. Don't risk it. Never risk it. If you can vote, you should vote. Go and fucking vote. Otherwise, you've got absolutely no reason to complain for the next four years about whatever changes because your vote could have made the difference. Not just your vote, but the last general election, there was 15 million people that did not vote and that would have been a landslide victory for the other party. Assuming they all voted for the other party, of course. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, though, the last part, uh, the last election, we had Ed Miliband. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still voted Labour. Yeah. Because fuck those Tory cunts, but I think I think we got a, ch a good chance with our jazz. He's doing wonderful things, mm -hmm. and he, he's not the sort that's gonna. That if if he loses, will step down. <clears throat> he's fought off stepping down so many times. And he will continue leading the Labour Party in the right direction. Look where he is now. My belief. After all the doubters and all the naysayers quit the party, he's here. Him with a bloody good chance. Fucking good chance. So let's 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 do this. Let's do this one for the boys. Last word from Foy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> vote who you want to vote for. Oh fucking hell! You dickhead. <laughs> Just don't vote for it. Yeah. Obviously. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Phew. <laughs> Relax. Fuck the Tories! <laughs> Probably long cut by now. Nah, it's fine. Leave it in.